Good morning, Hopkins Middle School. This is Asia Mess today, and I'm your host, Ananga Kumar. See this here? That's called a tagline. For the last two weeks, we had a typo in there, so it looked like this. First week, nobody noticed. But the second week, we got emails. Thank you for taking the time to find that typo. We'd like you to have a water bottle. Thank you, anytime. We love our fans, keeping us on track. Now, welcome to a long weekend. After today, of course. Now, let's get into some segments. First up is Mr. Keller talking about the Ignite program. Welcome to Minute with the Principal. Today I'm joined by Ms. Kirschenbaum and Ms. Brown. Uh, and I wanted to ask you a question. So I've been here for many a number of years and we see Ignite uh, all over the place on t-shirts sure. uh, mm -hmm. around. So what, what is Ignite all about? So Ignite is a mentorship program that we run here at HMS and it really benefits all of the kids in the school. So as sixth graders, you benefit directly from being a part of an Ignite group. You get to meet with your Ignite leaders. You have two or three Ignite leaders and a small group of other sixth graders. And you meet together once a month. You also have orientation um, and homeroom challenge when we get to the spring. As a seventh grader, you're getting ready to apply to be Ignite leaders, so you can ask all about that. We will tell you all about the process. But um, towards the spring time as well, you can apply to be an Ignite leader. And as an eighth grader, you can be an Ignite leader and take part in that process, learn some leadership skills, and help to be a good role model for the school and help the sixth graders with their transition into the middle school. I really love how Ignite connects all levels Definitely. of the school, and I, I see it as something that makes us a community as a whole, which is a really neat thing, especially for me to watch working with sixth graders and then getting to see them as eighth graders come out and be a different kind of member of our community, which is a lot of fun. Thank you both for sharing about Ignite and all the effort that you put forward. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. Ignite is awesome, period. Next up, let's check in with Mr. Rockwood and a brand new Fun Fact Friday. Hey, Mr. Rockwood, give us our Fun Fact Friday today. Well, Eve, I'd love to be able to do a Fun Fact Friday for this week, yet I'm right now I'm involved in displaying student work. Around the autumnal equinox, I assign students to write a fall poem, a fall theme poem. So for example, like this one here, you can see there's some, well, there's a bat. Well, anyway, they did a great job. They were asked to incorporate figurative language or repetition or perhaps onomatopoeia. They had actually to put four poetic devices in the poem. And these poems will be displayed right up until the end of October. So if you get a chance, any time this month, please come down and read over the poems written by students on the Yellow Team. That's it for today, folks. Make it a great day. Have a wonderful weekend, but certainly be kind to one another and read a spooky book sometime this month. Thank you, Mr. Rockwood. Maybe we can check out the display later. Now, let's check in with question of the day. Today we're asking, what's the best way to spend a long weekend? Making birdhouses with my graphing calculator. Making, Making tasty, tasty treats! <laughs> Baking and hanging out with Mr. Carney. Playing Roblox. By playing Minecraft. The best way to spend a weekend, I spend it with my grandchildren. It's my favorite. Watching some TV and just like hanging out. Going to the Habamas. Vacation. Video games. Watching or playing football. Playing baseball. Playing with a friend. Drawing. Hanging out with friends. Having fun with your friends. Reading. Playing sports. Playing sports. Singing karaoke while eating pizza. Playing sports. Playing video games. Hanging out with friends. Sleeping in. Hang out with friends. Sleep. Listening to K-pop. Playing Minecraft with your friends. Play basketball. Pranking my sister. Great answers. All right, now let's roll the birthday scroll. Happy birthday, everybody. Now, people, how awesome are you? This is another week when, with an abundance of HYSD entries. Thank you all for playing. Here's a picture of Maeve enjoying a new candy-filled water bottle. For anyone who wins one of these, be prepared for the first three questions you will receive. What's that? Can I have one? Just one? No. And here's a picture of Amy, a winner last week, who is her saying that she is going to share that with her friends. We call her Awesome Amy.
Now this week's winner, this week's winner is Ella Fowler. Congratulations. All right, this is a picture of somewhere in school. Have you seen this? Email us where it is, and from the correct responses, we'll pick a winner for a candy-filled water bottle. And that's our show. See everything HMS TV on our website, hms.today, and tell us everything at hmstv at hillers.org. Thanks for watching. See this here? Nope. Down. 45 degree angle. See this here? Wait, see, this. see this here? Oh. This week's winner is Ella Fowler. Wait, right? Yeah. No. Oh, I was right. Okay.